Namaste, Namaste. I give you my word. We are in this together. Where? In this shit. Where they are separating us in time and space. It's not normal. It's not nice. They are separating us for more than one year. And if you have friends, family in other country, and if you don't get a vaccine, you may feel that you never see them again in person, that you are never to hug them again if they are not to get a vaccine for you. And I know. I don't know if I will ever see my mother again. My mother lives in Germany and I'm in Slovenia. And she doesn't want to take the vaccine. I don't want to take the vaccine. You know. And it's not nice, this Orwellian New World Order that is happening in the world now. But we can make everything new. 3D separation in time and space. They can separate us only in time and space. And they are doing it. They can only physically separate us and separate us from ourselves with fear. But you know what? They can never really separate us because in the quantum, beyond time and space, I am you and there's no other. We can make everything new. This evil people that enslave humanity, control humanity, presenting themselves as philanthropists and good people, but destroying Mother Earth and destroying human beings that they say that they are helping. They are not free. They are slaves to their masters. And what they hate most is human freedom, human unity, human communion, human love. Like Jesus said, when two are gathered in my name, there I am. That I am, that I am. And they want to separate us. They hate freedom, they hate human love, they hate human communion. But you know what? What Purna? They can never separate us. They can never separate us. Because beyond time and space, in the quantum, I am you, there's no separation. And they can separate us only in 3D. They know only 3D, the reality of separation, control, opposition. But they can never come into the quantum, beyond time and space. So you know what? You are not alone. I am there with you, beyond time and space, do know that I'm you. You are not alone, you are here with me. In meditation deep we go, and there is unity flow. I am not alone, you are here with me. 
Time and space is illusion. Can you feel in your heart, my heart? Let us be. You are not alone. I am here with you. Beyond time and space, do know that I'm you. We are not alone. We are here with you. Do know that beyond time and space, in the heart I am you. Never be alone. Meditate like a stone. Go deep within and be with me wherein because you are not alone i am here with you in the moment now beyond time and space i am you in my heart in your heart in every heart i am you in our heart your heart in my chest your chest our chest do know that i'm you mind is separation mind depends on physical talking physical communion and on facebook i don't like this you see if you feel the truth and you feel the truth to another you can transfer telepathically entire truth in a millisecond entire book and when you want to speak this truth Take so much effort, so much energy, and another one receives their translation in the mind. And then you have to explain yourself, they get confused. But on social media, I never could read books. It's draining to communicate because all they see is letters, 2D communication. No feeling, no tone of voice, no vibration, no body expression, no body language, no face expression. Like some joking, hey, you son of a bitch, you motherfucker, what the fuck, I, you crazy motherfucker. And if I type this down, you get offended, you will only get letters. You will not see, oh, you crazy motherfucker, you son of a bitch. I'm joking, loving. And in person, you can feel the words, see the expression. You feel the truth. But on social media, you only get your mind. And mind is negative and translates everything according to the mind. And there's so much confusion. And everyone translates, you know, I'm expressing the truth, source truth. I put it in paper, it's in paper. And then you read the words, you put the words in your mind. And then you get the perception. It has nothing to do with the word that I am, everything to do with the truth in you. And it takes so much energy to write a comment. And then if they get confused too. Explain and uh, like two hours for what would take in real life five minutes. I cannot do it. I'm here for us to unite, for they are separating us in time and space. I'm here for us to unite as one. They can never separate us. Never. Mind wants unity in this world. And they can control the mind. And they can control physical union and separation. Everything we take for granted. But you know, in the heart, there's no separation. In the real self. In the source that I am you. <sighs> you know, we 
we can turn this around. Let us go in meditation. Deep within in meditation. That we go beyond the mind where there is separation. Mind that needs physical contact. And beyond time and space. We are in our real self. Source that I am. And I am you. In meditation we can be together. Cat, you know how this is. I know I met you in the dreams. You're like my daughter and grandmother together. My teenage grandmother. I don't want to make you old because you're shining. And like a teenage happy grandmother, granddaughter. And give her the heart. You see? And she can know how connected we are in our heart, how close we are intimately. But we never speak, we never communicate on social media, really. Sometimes I send her message of gratitude and love to remind her that I'm here also in time and space. But it's like family of the heart that I know in future. I'm not to forget my family. And you can feel that unity in the heart. So let us go in meditation. Beyond time and space. When you are not alone. Do know I am you. In your heart, in my heart. One heart. I am you. beyond time and space in the truth that has no fear no mind we go beyond the mind beyond the separation beyond the illusion there in the heart they can never separate us they can only perceive 3D reality and see that we are separated in 3D but let us go in meditation let us go in Mother Nature. I'm sorry. Lately I cannot go much in Mother Nature. And she's my mother. I can go much in meditation. And beyond time and space, we lose fear, we lose separation, we lose the mind. And we are one. One source that I am in all our bodies, family. And we are united. We are together. We are one. They can never separate us. And we are never separated. We feel that I am not alone. You are here with me. Beyond time and space. Let us be. And it's not only that. You make everything new. In the quantum. In meditation. We are united. And the energy of unity. Energy of love going around the world and people are afraid people pray to God people sincerely open their heart and want higher power and because we are united in time and space source that I am God they sincerely call to God for help we awaken them they lose fear they get awakened to the ugly reality of control, slavery, opposition of this world, what is really happening. And they get awakened to their soul, to their power, to the source that I am. 
And they see the ugly illusion and deception for what it is. And they feel the power, source, an eternal moment. They see the way to heaven and earth. And more and more they try to separate us. More and more let us meditate and more and more they are uniting us. And that's the crazy thing because the light is shining. It is the age of Aquarius, the new earth. And more they want to separate us, more people are afraid, more people realize that all they have is that moment now. And they don't want to lose that moment and they use that moment for prayer. Sincerely, they seek for help. And in that moment, they get awakened and realize that moment is eternal, eternal life. They get awakened to their soul. And more and more they try to separate us and shut us down. Out of darkness rises brightest light. More they uniting us. You know? Ah, it's beautiful to see the children with no masks. Where are they? Children with no masks. Oh, they have some children have masks, but not all. You see? Beautiful. Beautiful. And we, in meditation, we can realize all we have is that moment now. We don't want to lose the moment, lose our life. And we use that moment to meditate, to work on ourselves sincerely. We realize moment is eternal. And I am you beyond that time. Time and space, we lose the mind, we lose the separation. Let us do it, come on. And more they want to separate us and shut us down into darkness, more people are awakening to the light because light is shining and we are spreading it. More they want to control people with fear. More people see the ugly truth for what it is and their own beautiful truth, their soul. Fear takes our power away. We give our power away to powers that have no power. Then the powers that have no power have power over us. But if we choose love beyond time and space, we lose fear. And we realize fear is the only thing they have. And they are afraid of us. That's why they are doing this. This is their fear. They are afraid of awakening, of our unity. They are afraid because humanity has awakened and become so free and so spiritual and so informed and so empowered. And they are actually afraid of you. Because when we lose fear, they can control us only with fear. Love they can never control. Love unites everyone. Love controls no one. Love they can never control. They can only control the mind with fear. And fear is separation from love, separation from ourself, the mind. You see? When we choose love, we are love. We let go of fear. Love is letting go of fear and choosing love. Fear makes us go against ourselves in fear, in separation. We give our power away to powers that have no power. Make us go into their hell. But 
Love is separation. Fear is separation from love. There's no love in fear. There's no fear in love. Love controls no one. And no one can control love. Love is living for the truth. Not dying for the truth. They can only control the fear. And they are afraid of us. That we lose fear. That we awaken. They are afraid of us. And they are separating us with fear. And control. But they don't understand. Like World War II. There was darkness. And when they plunged us in fear and darkness. We followed that darkness. Light was not shining. It was not grand awakening. The matrix was dark and in power darkness. But now the light is shining. And more and more they want to control us with fear and throw us in darkness. What's happening more and more? More and more we're losing fear. More and more we awaken to love and awaken to ugly truths of this world. And awaken to our freedom, to our soul, to our power and to the unity beyond time and space. More and more they try to separate us, more and more they unite us. Because they don't understand that the matrix of this world changed and supports light. Out of darkness rises brightest light. When people are afraid and controlled, they pray for the light and light is shining and they get awakened to the light. How beautiful and how wonderful it is, huh? How beautiful and how wonderful it is. They are afraid of love. Because the world of love they cannot control. Where there's no fear in love. Everyone is being free. Their self as they feel and let others be free. No one controlling no one. No one can control love and love controls no one. They can control only with fear, the world of fear, separation. They are afraid of us, for our unity, of our love, of following love, of our living for the truth, not the more dying for the truth. They are afraid of us, and more and more they are spreading that fear. More and more their fear is coming through. More and more people are awakening ugly truths of this world and to the power and love of their soul where in love there's no fear they lose fear so have no fear we are love and we are no fear let us meditate beyond time and space there's no separation let us awaken entire humanity under monkey effect we are so close when 1% of us is in alignment with ourselves, in a moment now, beyond time and space, that I am you in love, beyond the mind, beyond the separation. It creates a ripple effect and they are so afraid because we are so close. And they don't understand how it's happening. But then everyone is awakened to the ugly truths of this world, what is really happening, deception, lies, manipulation, control, and to the beautiful truth of their soul, of love. And then, when just 10% is awakened, 20, other are to follow. They can do nothing. Because only when majority of humanity is following fear, they can control us with fear. You know? <sighs> because we are so many, and they are few. And they can only control us with fear. And they are afraid of us because we are so many and they are so few. More and more they try to separate us with fear. More and more they awaken us. Hmm. Well, we can know 
we ever ask ourselves if in Nazi Germany we would comply. Well, now we know if we would. And we all are guilty a little bit. We all would a little bit. We see how we are complying to this. It's okay. No problem. But let us go in meditation. Let us go beyond time and space. Beyond the separation. Bring heaven to earth. Awaken entire humanity. Beyond time and space. In love, in the heart. I am you and there is no separation. They try to separate us. They unite us more. They control us with fear. But it is their fear. They are afraid of us, of love. Our unity. That's the world of love. They cannot control. So let us go in meditation. Beyond time and space. Unite in the heart. Beyond time and space. In my chest. In your chest. In one heart. And let us awaken entire humanity to heaven and earth. Let us make everything new. Let us create a world of love where they can never reach us. Beyond time and space. Where you are not alone. Do you know I am you? Beyond time and space. In your heart, in my heart, I'm you. You are not alone. Do you know I am you? There's no fear in love. In love I am you. And I'm love. So let us create a world of love. Let us meditate. And if anybody feels like you want to offer a donation, like you want to offer the support to the work and the world that I am, do know you are so welcome. And I'm so grateful from the heart of hearts. Really. If you give joyful gift of love, no fear, no guilt. I want love. Thank you for your love. I never forget you. I give you my word. What else I can give you? When you give donation. I, you see, I'll not chat and do these things. I told you in the beginning how I feel about this. Destroys me. But I'm so grateful. I want to give you gift beyond time and space. My best energy. There's nothing you buy. You give a donation to this class. To support this class. My work. But I want to give you a gift beyond time and space. So I connect with you. And I do quantum white light source healing. On your being. You don't need appointment. You don't need to stand still. It's quantum. And you don't tell me anything. Because I'm not that kind of a healer. Medical expert. I'm following Joe Dispenza. To heal myself. But I'm a wise man. And I have powerful source energy. If you tell me nothing about your problem, then I can do best healing on you. And give you my best energy. And I do it for every single donation given from the heart. I give you my word. Thank you from the heart. And love, don't guilt and fear. You all are a gift for me. And I'm so grateful, really, everyone, who ever offered me a donation. Thank you. When I do this, I give you a gift, my best energy. But my healing works on me as much as I work on myself. And my healing works on you as much as you work on yourself. If you depend on unity in this world, physical unity and if you follow fear you give your health away you give yourself away I give my health away I give myself away no one can heal us but if we choose love 
I go beyond time and space. I can heal myself. You can heal yourself. And we lose fear, we lose the separation, illusion, the mind. We heal others, we heal ourselves. I give you my word. Thank you everyone for your love. You are love, everyone. Thank you. Beyond time and space, let us meet. I am you. Poor Namaste, I give you my word.